nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Well, good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen Well, we are actually just leaving the yard right now Here at Steinbach picked up our empty trailer and now we are ready to roll hit the road again that's right we did have a lot of fun over the holidays we really did enjoy our time off but now it's time to go back to work yeah now we spent quite a bit of money Now it's time to go start making some again, right? Isn't that the truth? I don't know how about you guys, but uh, I think everybody, pretty much everybody that, you know, has spends uh, some money. Turn right on Grant Street, Highway 12, and then turn left Now once Christmas and all them holidays are done with, we gotta try and figure out how to make money again so we can pay all our debt, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's always a challenge, but uh, it was fun. It really was. I think it's uh, been a great year last year. I can't complain about the year at all. I had a fantastic year. I hope all of you guys had a fantastic year as well. Oh, look at that pickup. <laughs> old pickup and he got some juice in it yet yeah anyways we are off to dried in Ontario and then we're gonna go uh, to uh, Jackson Missouri where our trip will take us this time. That's right. Continue on this road for 19 kilometers. Yeah, I know it's kind of late in the day already. We kind of started late. We wanted to go right away this morning, but unfortunately we was not able to get a load right away. So here we are. Leaving at 2.15 in the afternoon. Yeah. That's okay, I guess. Nothing I can do about it anyways. I would have loved to leave this morning, but... I'm just happy that at least I'm getting a load today. That's a bonus. Sometimes just after the holidays, you don't even get a load right away that same day that you want to go. Like we did there a couple of... Well, about a week ago when we between uh, Christmas and New Year's when uh, me and the wife wanted to go out on a short trip it didn't seem to uh, exactly work the way we wanted we had to actually wait a day longer than we wanted to go out so but that's uh, alright at least we're back at it again hopefully we can make some money yeah up here on the right is where Penners has been storing a lot of empty trailers I guess the last couple of years when all the holidays are a lot of guys are coming back and they don't have enough room in the yard so they take the, I guess they rent that place there over uh, New Year's between Christmas and New Year's there and that way uh, they can store their trailers somewhere you know they got so many trailers that <laughs> they got to actually store them somewhere else yet. But as soon as uh, all these holidays are over here, probably in the next two weeks, all of them trailers are going to be gone, you know. Yep. 
Seems like it's gotten fairly windy here now all of a sudden. I don't know why, but I guess that the winter is kicking in now. Oh, it's strong south wind right now. So for us, at least we will be going towards Ontario, so uh, we won't be having too much of an issue with the wind, I think, because we'll be running in bushes a lot. We won't have to worry about it too much. But Anyways, let's keep on rolling here and see what happens. Yeah, here we are, guys. We are cruising along on Highway 502. Yeah, I know it's dark already. It took me a good while to do my trailer switch up here and ride it. The load was ready. Uh, but I was having problems sliding uh, the trailer axle because everything is so icy right now and slippery and stuff. I was having a hard time. The, uh, the, the tractor just wanted to spin. It had no traction, you know. So I actually had to get out of the yard and then uh, get onto the road where there was a little bit of asphalt left in order to get some traction so I could move the axle, you know. It looked like the axle had been moved quite a bit back there, uh, I guess, before they dropped it there. And they've been driving in some slush for a while, it looked like. And there was some ice and snow built up right there in the tracks where the, the uh, axle actually moves. And that caused everything to be frozen up a little bit and so we needed to break that free in order for us to actually move the trailer axle so it took some uh, took some power in order to move that axle it took me a good while to play around with that and then finally we got it here we are Going down 502, just what we did last week. When I had my wife riding along with me. Now she knows what this highway is like too. And I figured I'd show you this stretch of the highway a little bit here in the dark. That way we get us a little bit of an extra clip in here. I haven't really recorded too much today only recorded a little tiny bit there when I left the yard and that's it you know I was on the phone pretty much all afternoon so didn't really get around to videotaping too much or anything really so we need to you know get an extra clip in here so we can at least have a half decent video you know at least we're gonna attempt anyways right the gold yeah we got about well, probably about two hours to the border and then we'll be in the United States of America and I think from me being outside on the snowmobile a lot and stuff like that I think I've gotten the cold somewhere a little bit I think that's what I've picked up or I've been getting a little cold I guess my body got a little bit cold so now I can feel it in my throat so if you hear my voice disappear that's probably why yeah there's usually uh, a lot of people that say there's a lot of moose on this stretch of the highway but I haven't really seen any lately I just uh, saw a deer when I turned onto this highway but <laughs> Huh. Other than that, I haven't seen no moose yet. Although I do have all my high beams on, my spotlights, everything is on. I should be able to see half decent. I made sure when I pulled into Dryden that I cleaned my lights. Because I knew if I get onto this highway, I need all the light I can get. It's pretty good lighting that I got, but uh, you know, the bush is so close to the highway too. I probably wouldn't be able to see it from very far when there is a big moose standing on the side of the road, you know. So we're gonna take her easy and take all 
precautions that we can and trying uh, avoiding any uh, wildlife you know the bad part about it is too uh, that this road has got a lot of turns in it you know it's kind of like a snake trail <laughs> that's what I like to call it but yeah it's got a lot of turns and bends and ups and downs in it you know so that makes it even more especially dangerous for at night driving you know but anyways we'll see how far we will go tonight probably be a late night drive for me I mean we only started like at quarter after two this this afternoon so we could actually drive until after midnight if we wanted I guess but uh, I don't think we're going to be doing that we'll see maybe we'll drive to uh, Cook Minnesota there's that McDonald's uh, where they have a few parking spots for trucks maybe I'll pull her in there and hopefully there will be a spot left there for me and then I can just park right in there and that was uh, at least about three and a half hours worth of driving from uh, from Dryden. So then we have to cross the border yet. Last time uh, when me and my wife crossed the border here, they actually sent us to the x-ray machine. They actually wanted to x-ray us. Didn't find anything wrong, but you know, they hadn't been doing that for a while, you know. And I guess... Uh, all the holidays and everything, they figured it'd start again, you know. Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and see what else we'll be able to show you today. Alrighty guys, we have just crossed the border. We are in Minneapolis, no, Minneapolis, Minnesota. We are now in Minnesota. That's right. Yeah, it's fairly late already. We got 9.30 in the evening already, but, uh, hey, well, it's all right. We'll just continue on cruising along here for a little while and until we get a safe place to pull over and we'll just call it a day. That's the plan anyways. We'll see. I know there's a rest area about an hour from here little tiny rest area there I might just pull in there or I might try and get up to Cook, Minnesota which is only like 17 miles further down the road so we'll see on how far we actually make it tonight but I'm still feeling pretty good yeah you know when you start late sometimes Especially since you've been off for a couple of days, you know, and then you feel like just giving her, you know. And it's not always the case like that, but right now it is. And we'll just have to, you know, see where we will find a <coughs> safe, safe spot, you know. It seems like my voice is disappearing, so. I guess we'll just cut it for now and then we'll close it once we stop over there somewhere. Alrighty guys, we are in Cook, Minnesota. And of course my alarm's got to go off right away. I know how annoying it is sometimes, but that's what it is on a Volvo. And the thing is right here. <laughs> it screamed in my ear. You think it's annoying to you? Think again even more annoying to me yeah but we are in Cook Minnesota we did have a good day worth of driving it's almost midnight and my light just went out there we are we are back I bet you in a few seconds that thing is gonna scream at me again but whatever I'm gonna go ahead and close my video for today I know it's been quite a bit of night driving today but uh, hey like I said, it's almost midnight right now. We stopped here just after 11. So, uh, or was it before 11? I don't even remember. I'm so tired. I just <laughs> All I know, it's after 11. Oh, yeah, I think it was like quarter to 11 because I remember 
I quickly walked inside and no oh, man and uh, McDonald's is actually closing at 11 o'clock here so uh, I only had a few minutes to go use the bathroom and that's it and then I had to get out but anyways that's all that we get for today so stick around for tomorrow we got some good videos coming up tomorrow oh uh, we'll see you then have a good one everybody behind me that day is gonna come